welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be looking at some natural dyeing. I've dyed some embroidery cotton with lychee skins. So if you're not familiar with them, uh, lychee is a lovely um, Asian fruit with a very pink warty looking skin. And I was having some earlier this year and I thought, I wonder if they can get a dye from those. So what I did was um, I grabbed some of the skins from the light cheese we ate, not very many. So I put them in a small jar with some hot water and in one jar I put a quarter teaspoon of washing soda and in the other I put a quarter teaspoon of alum. So I'll give you those details down below. But I've basically just left them. These were both put in in January. One was the one I did with soda ash was done on the 3rd of January. And the one I did with the alum was done on the 4th of January. And it's currently now the 18th of March. So what I'm looking at is what's happening to these two and the different colours that appear to be coming out. So I'm going to empty these jars out. Just going to pour this out into a bowl and you can see that it's a fairly peachy color mm. and i must say it smells absolutely gorgeous i'll just pull the cotton out separately it was only a teeny tiny bit of cotton this was only a test and i will pull that out and then i'll come back to you and show it to you in a little while when it's dried squeeze that out so here are the two colors together this is the soda ash and this is the alum and clearly the soda ash has come out much darker at the moment so that's the more peachy color and this is a sort of pinky purple color i don't think this is going to be terribly strong in the end this one looks like it's going to be a bit better and I don't know if you can see the difference in the liquids. This is the soda ash here. And this is the alum there. Very distinct colour differences. These are the results of the dyeing experiment. After I took the threads out of the dye yesterday and they were still wet, I gave them a quick rinse in cold water. And what was interesting to see was that this one which was done with the alum lost almost all of its pinky tone it settled down into more or less a neutral hard to describe fawny color i can still see some traces of pink on some of the threads when i look close up but basically none of that color stayed however the soda ash one did retain its lovely pinky peachy color and I really like that. I definitely be using that. In fact, I use both of them. It's not a problem. Sometimes you do want a neutral colour. I decided to just do a quick sample of various embroidery threads using the two colours. So this is the one with the alum that came out that neutral fawny colour. And this is the one, which is the one done with the soda ash, which is the peachy colour. Interesting results. Um, the next time I get my cheese, I'll definitely be doing something with them with soda ash. I'm not sure whether I'll try a more traditional approach to um, heating them with soda ash, but we'll see. Happy with the results. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share it with other people if you think they'll be interested. Thank you very much, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.